I adore Richard Ayoade. Mm. I think he's absolutely wonderful. Mm. And I was just wondering, because he's one of the funniest people I've ever met, yeah. is, does he take that humour onto into his directing? Is he is he quite funny or is he a bit more serious when he's Yeah, working? I mean, I think he's... A I think he's a genius. He's so, so brilliant. But I mean, his humour is kind of in the f darkness as well of the film. Like, it's, he's such an, he strikes such an interesting balance between, um, you know, letting things be like very emotional and, 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 uh, and then also like quite humorous. But yeah, as a person, he's, he's both, you know, he's like a great sense of humour, but he's a very like, you know, also quite serious in terms of directing. So. Had you seen Submarine before getting involved in the double? I had. I thought it was brilliant. I loved it. Yeah. And because, I mean, the, the double is set in this kind of unique, quite peculiar world. And it's, yeah. it's, it's extremely humanised, despite the fact it picks up in the kind of mundanity of, of real mm. life, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, it was all very surreal. Was, that, was it something that attracted you to this project? Yeah, I thought, I mean, you know, the choices that Richard made about it, the world that we lived in were brilliant. You know, even the choice of not showing daylight and, and uh, setting it in a time frame that we don't even know what time it is but we know that we're in a world that is very behind you know and very sort of not something's not quite right um and you know all the visual things that he did were so sort of clever and the big computers with lots of buttons that don't really do anything very useful because um, it's, it's so striking and, and memorable mm, the actual aesthetic of yeah, it all it's incredible. was that something that was added kind of in post-production or was was the set all quite no, unique it was, it was all like a built set it was all very like real for us, so it was that was wonderful because it, it was, you know, he really created like a whole world. And does that help you get into the mindset of a character when it, you've got the whole kind of set and the whole world sort of created surrounding you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I first read the script, I had no idea it would sort of have that feel and, and that visual um, kind of look or, or whatever. I, I had no idea, so I was really impressed by it. And I, I, the film's almost sort of very choreographed. It's all like mm. a kind of dance, the way it all sort of works, yeah. like clockwork. Uh, was that, did that make it quite tough to shoot? Because I imagine everything had to be so spot on for it to actually, to actually work. Kind of easier to shoot. Like the more precise things are, the less you have to really kind of, you know, it's amazing when a director is so kind of on everything because then you kind of just, you know, <laughs> have to, you know, uh, everything's much more clear to you, which is great. And when you were shooting scenes with Jesse, did you ever have to be reminded that which character he was portraying in that scene? Ah, uh, no, I mean, like, most of my scenes were with Simon. I had, like, one or two scenes with the James character, but it was always, like, far away from Simon's perspective. So, no, all the scenes I did with, with Jesse were, like, primarily Simon. And, and if you kept bumping into your doppelganger, would you want to befriend them and make contact with them, or would you rather just stay really clear? Um... That's a good question. Depends what they were like, <laughs> but probably keep them close. <laughs> and I just my my, uh, my final question is: What with the the double and, and tracks and only lovers left alive? You seem to have been moving more towards a kind of independent cinema, particularly since Alice in Wonderland. Was that a conscious decision on your part to to do that? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Like, it's mainly about the whatever the material is for me. So there's it's just sort of happened that the material that I like is smaller films, but if something was great that I liked that was like a bigger film, I would totally do it. But yeah, I mean, the, the things that I've been drawn to have just sort of happened to be smaller films. Yes, Alice Wonderland 2? It's kind of far off in the future at the moment. I don't, I haven't, you know, got like a script or anything, so it's still, you know, out there. I'm not sure if it'll happen or not, but we'll see. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks so much.